This past week marked the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing. And so it's really, really fascinating. About 50 years ago, three astronauts on July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin set off to take on the moon and be the first humans to step foot on the moon ever in our history. But they had a lot of planning to do before then. And the moon is a really interesting place. Now, first of all, the moon spins very slowly on its axis, slower than here on Earth. But because it spins, it has a night and day, just like us on Earth. The catch is the night, the darkness, lasts 13 and a half days. And the daylight, 13 and a half Earth days of light. So that means that there's a lot of time for the moon to heat up and cool down. During the day, surface temperatures on the moon can reach 260 degrees Fahrenheit. And during the night, it's just as extreme, below 280 degrees, below zero Fahrenheit. So very different temperature extremes. So how did the astronauts survive these kind of temperature extremes when they landed on the moon? Well, first thing is first, they wore spacesuits that reflected 90% of the sunlight. The moon does not have an atmosphere like us here on Earth, and so it can't trap in the heat. So as long as that heat gets reflected back out to space, you're fine. And that's what the spacesuits did. The other thing the astronauts planned for is they planned to land and explore around lunar dawn. Just like dawn is a cool part of the day here and not as extreme uh, in temperatures, that's the way it is is on the moon. And you can see this in the pictures too. Notice the shadows on the rocks and from uh, the landing uh, mechanism that they used. Again, it's really cool to think about how they planned all this and how lunar weather played a role. Unfortunately, a man hasn't been to the moon or a woman hasn't been to the moon since 1972. But over the next two decades or so, that's expected to change.